Hello everyone, this is TN0 here. Today I'm going to play a different game. It's called Blazing Odyssey. I've been playing this game for a while. Um, recently they made the big changes, so I decided to make the video. Uh, this is the new account. I created a new one so that I can walk you guys through from the very beginning of the game, starting from the tutorial. Now, uh, we'll jump into the game now. So this is the user agreement. You have to agree in order to play the game. Just like any other games, All right? So, it's looking for a new data. Uh, give it some time to download. Uh, this is this is an RPG game, so it's pretty it's pretty cool. I like I like the game. It's just like I start I st I'm playing this very slowly because when I start playing this game, it is really not that really good. But they change they make the changes. So it's it, it's getting better right now. I will I will go through the changes when I step by step when I when I uh when I play the games and explain every details to you guys on the user interface and everything. Okay, this is a story, but you can skip it. I'm not gonna go to the like talk about the story because it's gonna be a long one. All right, I'm gonna skip this one here. If you guys wanna listen to the stories you can you can if you can read if you read japanese if you understand japanese All right. okay i'm gonna go skip this one also all right the tutorial begins now okay here yeah. um all right Okay, tap tap tap. The dragon. Okay. Wah! Hmm. Right. So he is the stamina. This this guy, this blue, the guy in the blue. It's you. You are you are the the protagonist. You are that that guy. So you summon the heroes to fight the enemies. All right. So now you you attack by pr tapping the unique icon here. Tap tap tap, and then every time you when you, when when you tap when you attack, you use the action gadget action gate down here so let me show you guys so tap and you will see that so when the action gauge is completely empty then your turn is over and did that enemy turn now okay all right so each each unit has tp here is do you see like the the yellow or the blue bar right there that's a tp you use tp to use the skill and different skill has different uh, use um, different uh, use different TP. All right. So now you swipe up to use the skill. So swipe up, swipe up, swipe up. So I was holding that down. So you can see there are different type of skill here. There are four different type of skill. You can actually choose any skill that you want to use, like this, like this, and then like this. But after you use the skill, that skill remain. The, the, after you choose the skill, the skill remain on the on the icon here. So one you want uh, after you if you want to use it again, you just have to swipe it up again. You don't have to choose it. Right now, I don't have enough TP, so I have to choose one skill to use it. All right. So now that's it. My turn is over. Okay. So. Now, the TP, you will recover TP by using, uh, doing the auto attack, I mean the normal attack. So uh, every time you, you use the uh, normal attack to attack the enemy, you, can, you will see these green or uh, blue orb. And then after your turn is finished, that blue orb will come to you and then you recover the, the TP, your, your TP is recovered. Alright, I will show you guys. Okay, so now. I attack him. Oh, I can't see it. 
Ding, ding. Is that, oh yeah, see, there is like a, the, the, the blue orbs on the head of the dragon right there. See, okay, and then let me finish my turn. Okay, when your turn is finished, all those blue orbs come to you and your TV is covered. Just like that. Alright. So, the tutorial is not finished yet. This is just going to be a story. A little a part of this tutorial. Kalyu, Hogo. So the dragon destroyed the ship, and then you fell down. Okay, so down to download it again. We're gonna have to download it again. All right, the download is finished. Not completely finished. I still need to download some data. Okay, because this game doesn't use like a one-time download. It it downloaded by like uh once you progress the game so it downloads episode by episode story by story kind of like that okay oh uh, I forgot to tell you guys how to skip the skip the story all right when when it's when it's like right here when once it finished download I will show you guys how to skip the story now it asked me to put the name here Alright, my name of course is going to be the N0, right? E O N D Z E Z E R O 0. Alright. Okay, now alright, so I'm gonna skip the story here. There is a menu on the top right corner. You just press the menu here and then you will see the skip and the lock on the bottom so I just press skip then you will skip the story now I got to choose the unit here so each unit has a uh, different uh, elemental so like the first guy this guy here he is the fire type this is the water and this is wind so I will tell you uh, I'll explain the attribute later Okay, now let me choose uh, this guy, the fire. Okay. Alright, and also I am gonna skip this story here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Connecting, connecting. All right. Okay, the first chapter. Okay, this is the the town. In the town, there will different facility like uh, blacksmith, kitchens, or market, anything, like, everything like those. Okay, so I'm going to skip this one here. All right. Now he's at the. What is that? What do you call that? The uh, Salmoner Guild. Because I I I have been go I've been through the all the story in my main account. So sorry guys, I can't talk about the story right now. It's because it's going to be a really long one. All right. Now I'm gonna skip this one here. This game does give you a lot of free gems. I'm 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 playing free on this game and then uh, it, it they do they do give a lot of free gems. Like just by doing the daily missions or weekly missions, kinda like that. And they also give you the login bonus too, like a lot. Alright, I'm gonna skip this part. And I think it will, it will go to the salmon salmon part. No? Okay, the story. Alright. The map. So like this is the the uh, mission, the the map, the area map, and here you can choose the mission here. All right, this is the mission that we have to play. Yeah, I'm we're still on the tutorial right now. So 
like on the left, on the right part, like this part, you can you gotta choose the uh, friend that you're gonna you will bring in the game. All right, and this is here on the bottom here. You, you will see like what type of um, what enemy, uh, what uh, what kind of enemy you will see, like the water, how many percent, or so fire, how many percent, like those. All right, I'm just gonna go choose the random friends here. All right, let's go. Just two character, right? Okay, connecting. All right, this here's the story again. Da 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 da. All right. So this is the quest map. So you move. By tapping the arrow, and you move to the different map to another another area. By tapping it here, so you get right away to the area. All right, and there is the enemy right there. You also you can tap the enemy, so that so he will you will jump to the enemy and attack them. All right, just like the tutorial, use the auto attack, auto attack, no auto attack. Ah, too much, too much power. Uh, normal attack. All right, and then you can mo move to the floors here. Oh, and there is another way to move to the floor. Like one way is by tapping the arrow like this. The other one is just by swiping the screen like that. All right, like this or like like that, and tap to the yeah. Okay, this is the boss battle. All right, so like th this is. She is, she is explaining to you the skill to you, the battle skill, like, okay. So yeah, right now it's like a detail on the skill. And you swipe up to use the skill, like this. Alright. You guys already know that, swipe up, swipe up to use the skill. Okay, the so story is finished. All right, and once you finish, when you clear the area, there is the exit over there. You have to, you have to click on the exit to exit the mission, the the quest, the quest. Okay. All right. And when you finish that, you will get the all these reward and blah blah blah, right? That is experience, anything, something, whatever. Like those. This is the material that you need to craft the stuff. I'll talk about it later. Do you want to add friend? No, not now because this is not my main account. Sorry. All right, the story again. Blah blah blah. If you don't want to skip the story, and you can just tap 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 the screen, so they talk they talk fast. Okay. All right. So we return to the town now. No? Yes. To the guild. Okay, these two guys are talking blah 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 blah. Okay, the, we we have received the quest to get the item to the healing item. Here. Alright. Abadia Shingden. So this is the shrine. You gotta summon Salmon, the the character here. They are they are the souls of the fallen heroes or the legends, All right? Um, here they use twenty five gems for one salmon, and then if you want to do the multi salmon, it is going to be two hundred and fifty, right? Okay, I'll talk about talk about that later. Talk talk more about that later. Because we might have some gift from the gift box, so that I can show you guys how the salmons and all the explain all the units. Okay, yatane, Okay, okay. This is the shrine that you need to summon the hero. Blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Now. This is the login bonus here. Login bonus. Okay. 
All right. This is the special lock and campaign. Each you get five every day uh, for seven days. Yes, there is a gift box. The twenty six presents in the gift box. So look at the gift box, and this is the unique and item that you need to um, to enhance or make a team. Uh, okay. All right. This is the dialogue. Here, I'm gonna go try to see how much gem I will get. Mm, only 80. Well, alright. So, I'm gonna I'll explain the UI here. So, right, the tab right here, the blue one right here. This one is the story, the main quest. And the one up here is the multi mission. But you will have to clear the story or uh, the chapter one the fight uh, the story quest one the chapter one and then the fifth quest to unlock the the uh, multiplayer and this is here this is the arena arena you have to play against fight against the, uh, the other players all right this is the main quest right now I will be events I will be I will go to finish I'll try to finish the uh, main quest as much as I can to get the 250 gems so that I can summon Right, so like this is This is the uh, the daily reward. Like I said, the, this game give you uh, A lot of free gems. So like this is the day like here. This is the bonus. This is the mission quest here uh, Not a quest is the missions like if you complete the task you get the reward like the first tab here is the daily daily so you get like you have to play like usually right now th there is an event going on so like the first three is for the events but normally this is here these two are the regular one so like uh, usually it has three because right now there is no nothing to craft so first this is the um, clear the quest three time and the second one is the uh, play the multiplayer multiplayer but not join the game but you make a room let people join all right so these two first and this is the week the weekly bonus here and then usually it's just like play the multi quest 10 time play this quest 10 time or or uh, finish the um, friends request 20 times something like that and this is the overall locking overall progress achievement all right, this is the event. Event stuff. Okay, now let me go to this main quest. Okay, so like if you, when you this is the, the the map, but if you see the next here, that's the that's where the main quest is about. So if you want to advance to the main quest, you have to look for the one that has the next sign here. All right, click on the next and the first one, the very first one is always the main quest. Okay, look some friends. Take him here. Okay. Okay, they're gonna talk about. All right, let's move. Okay, so that's the uh, on the map that you will see like the, all those stuff. Those are the material that you need to uh, craft, or either to craft or to for the uh, for the missions for the quest. All right, and the, there is a box here. You can break those box, then you will in you will get the gold or any all kind of materials. Like these, like these. Tap on the tap on the icon or those. Flum, flum, flum. Okay, so now let's go. All right, this is the the attribute uh, uh, chart. So I fire, wind, earth. Oh, that's not the green one. Is not wind. It's the earth. Or oh, they call it wood. Fire, wind. Fire has the advantage on the wood. Wood has the advantage on the water, and water has the advantage on the fire. And light and dark are the same. Like they, they both have the advantage and disadvantage. Okay. So, uh, 
know that. Okay. Oh, mysterious. Mysterious person here. Story blah 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 blah. Okay, blah 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 blah. Oh, I have to find her. Okay. So you can you can change the target by tapping the uh, enemy like this, and you can also see the status of the enemy like the buff, debuff, or any uh, ability they have. And you can also see there is a uh, right here there is the uh, attribute chart. So like the circle means that it's it it's that enemy is uh, its advantage has the advantage on fire, and the wood right here. It means that the same like she is weak uh, that enemy is weak against the, the wood. And also there is this stuff here. I will talk about that later because that is the uh, type of the uh, weapons that enemy use. Alright? So she is weak against the magic type. I'll talk about that later. Alright? Let's do it for now. So you can also change the target like that by tapping the enemy. Okay. Oh, and okay. You skill, you skill. Okay. She is the all target. She has the all target skill, so we finish them off really quick. Just like any like uh, other game, there are single target and multi target skills, and also buff, debuff, healing, all of those. Okay, I was get the story. Uh, at the okay, there is this thing here. So this is the this is the uh, uh, the tip on the for the battles and anything like those. Like oh, if you talking about like oh, if you have if you are low in heart or, or low on health, you can use the potion to recover. Blah blah blah, something like that, right? <laughs> Okay. Oh yes, yes. Oh. You can actually uh, make the battle faster, like the act, the uh, uh, actions and animations. Uh, I will do it. I will change it. Okay. Now we will go to exit the dungeon or the map the area, whatever you call it. Okay. Rank F. All right, here you got the stuff here. Mm. All right, so now this is talking about the uh, uh, enhancing characters. Like if you use, if you feed the same character. If you use the same character as a, a material, then the ability, uh, the uh, awakening level will increase. What that means is that when the awakening level is get higher, your status and all your skills are being boosted, and status will be go up. Like you can, you will take more. Uh, uh, every time you attack, your TP increase or something like that. Your skill attacks is increase. Your skill damage is increased, kind of like that. So this game is really about the abil uh, uh, ability level, uh, uh, awaken level. So now I'm gonna go to the mission, uh, the unit here. So one thing in this game is that you can. So this is the team team setup here. All right. So it says you can have four 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 character, but you can have the uh, two of the same character in one team. What that mean? Let me show you how what it means. Okay, and then also also the uh, the position matters here. Like the very front one would take more damage, but and uh, to compare to the position here, let me move it here. So here, if 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 your the character in the very last take less damage, the and the character in the front take more damage. So so you will have to like uh, adjust the character, like uh, the position. Depend on the the character type and the levels and rarity or those. 
All right, let me sh see. Let me put it in here. So I have, I have these two characters here. That this is the same character. Oh, right. So see, th I have another one here. I can put it in the team because, because this game doesn't allow to have this two of the same character in one team. So I mean, uh, I will put different character here. I will talk about. I will talk to you. I will show you guys. What you should do with the same character when you get a duplicate character from the salmons, so you feed them. Like, all right. So you feed them. So you. F this is the character that I have, and let me see. I will use this one. So like, when you see the 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 uh, same character, you just you you it will show you that the awaken level up sign right there. All right. So you feed it here, and then you will see that the the unit level will goes up like this. And this is, and here in the bottom, here is the uh, awakened level. All right, I will feed it here, and I will show you guys what what it does, um, what the awakened level do. Okay. All right. Unit level eight and awakened level here. This is the when you level awakened level go up, you get the ability like this. HP plus 20%. Um, this is the defense plus 5%. And then this time, this is a normal attack, regular attack, damage increased by 20%. Kind of like those. And combination damage increased by 20. Okay. So like that. And you can see, you can see the awakened level by pressing the here. And you will see like on what awakened level you will get, uh, what kind of ability you will get on the by the awakened level here so this is three stars so the awakened level max is 10 and then if you want to get the awakened level 11 you will have to uh, evolve it into four stars and so on like that Fi and, and five stars kind of like that all right and this guy has uh, awakened level 30 the highest is 30 it used to be the uh, all five stars all five star max character used to have the 20 20 awakened level that's the max and the six star has 25 but later like right now like two weeks ago they changed that so like uh they they make a change on certain character they increase their awakened level into 30 some of them are still the same like still 20 and 25 but some of them they, they changed it into 30 so they make it like more powerful this game has a uh, six star max character, but if it's it is very it's not like uh, easy to get the six star, but uh, you have to spend a lot of gems, just like other other games. But the thing is that six star character doesn't really means it's very powerful because five star character with the five uh, with the awakened level around twenty is better than a 6 star full uh, max level because because of the ability boost and stuff that's why like you had like I'm playing like I'm playing this game really slowly to just try to get the uh, uh, character awakened level higher uh, okay let me see here I have another guy all right okay all right here. okay so I'm gonna move to another story let me try to get 250 gems okay I'm gonna skip the story here all right yep, I have the missions complete completed here get the reward. Okay. All right. Skip, skip, skip. Skip. Okay. These are all the talking about the stories. Okay. This is the missions that you would have the daily missions and weekly missions, and you will get the rewards and stuff. All right. All right. Alright, let's play the missions. Uh, 
Alright, blah blah blah. Okay, tune. Okay, so I said I'm going to make the action faster. I forgot. Alright, let me show you. Okay, so like the enemy is facing backward to me. So like, like that, when you go to the enemy, right, like this, then you have one extra turn to fight. Let me show you. Uh, let me, hold on, let me do this here. This is, so, so like this right here, this is the menu here. I'll press the menu and this is the battle speed. You increase the battle speed and this is the lock that shows you what you did or what the enemy did and this is the retire button here. If you if you can if you think you you can win the mission, you can do it to retire it here. I will increase the battle speed into two oh three. Okay. I will increase the battle speed to three so it is it'll make the video faster. Hopefully. So like right now enemies facing me backward, right? So I can attack them like this. Alright. So I had like this, so they won't attack me. Because like, let me end the attack. You can earn your turn. You can end your turn by pressing this here without uh even though the action gadget is you still have some action gadget. Even though you still have some action gadget. So you can end the uh, you can end the turn by pressing it. I can I will end it like this. So this, now it's the enemy turn, but he was facing me backwards, so he he won't attack me. So you have one you you have one extra turn. This is very useful when you when you playing the different uh, the higher higher rank missions. Like this. Okay. So this is telling me that okay so. Alright, so what it tells is that uh, you can scout the enemy, like the enemy is moving like that, right? Like I, uh, I told you guys that you can move the map by swiping the screen like this. But if you, if you move your, uh, if you swipe the screen by holding, by holding your finger, it, you won't move to the map, but you can scout it like this. You can, you can see the enemy movement, what he's doing like this. Alright, so he's going back and forth like this. And then, so like this, uh, I can I can move to his back and have one extra advantage, one turn extra advantage. All right, and here is uh, break this one, and you get some stuff here. Okay, another guy, blah blah blah. Skip this. Okay, you have to fight it. So right now he's gonna tease. She's talking about the change damage. So every time you use the skill, and it will it will it will stack up the, the the damage of the skill will stack up. They call it chain damage. Let me show you guys here. So like this. So like the two chain, three chain, four chain, five chain. The damage will increase, increase, increase. And also, if the chain damage happens to be on the same same uh, elements damage, it does more change. It it does more damage. So let me see. So okay. So you can see change one, and then at the end of the turn, see the damage increased. Uh, let me let me hold on. Let me let me slow it down here. Okay, so let me sh so let me end the turn here. I will show you guys again. Okay, so now this is the blazing gadget, right here. And when it's when it's full, you can tap it. By tapping it, you you, you can attack without using any uh, action gadget like this. But doing but doing the same doing like this, you you also c consume the action gadget if it is full. So the best thing to use the blazing gadget is that when you are about to uh, finish your turn. Like your action gadget is running low, press that so you can you have like one extra bars, one extra uh one extra bar of act uh, one extra action bar to to attack, so you can do, you do more damage. Uh, okay, I will show you guys the change attack later. Oh, it was not an enemy here. I saw it. Okay, like this. 
uh, this is really dumb. yeah this is too weak these guys are too weak yeah so like every time you use the act uh, you use the skill there is this chain damage that can occur uh, that will happen and then the chain damage will increase by uh constantly using the uh one uh chain damage uh hold on by the uh how do you say that by the at uh, the same attribute if you if you use the same uh, if you see use the same elemental unit and then the chain damage will increase even more on top of the regular uh, regular rate it will go up even more okay Okay, blah 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 blah. Skip this. Okay, so this is the event quest. Event quest. They're showing that event quest here. So let me show you guys what is happening here. So like this is the event quest that you will you can play. You will have this is like a, a material, the awakening material, character awakening material quest here. These two, like uh, with a chain right here, these two. Uh, they need the uh, the key to open the, the missions and every time you use one it is like uh, it, it lasts for like 15 minutes or oh it lasts for like 10 minutes I'll talk about it hold on I'll talk about it later now let's let's move to the missions regular missions I want to get some guys some good units okay uh, all right Move, move, move. Okay. Hmm. All right, right. Okay. Skip the missions. Just a uh, story. Move up. Hmm? Where is that? Okay. It's just a uh, notice. Another. Uh, not a guy I will show you the I will show the chain damage and the boss hopefully he is a little bit stronger I'll move increase the damage uh, the speed battle speed to two all right so like here is the mini map here you can also tap it this is the menu here you can tap the menu and like right here this is all what this is the the by far the uh the experience or goal you get so far and just hold on you tap here you will see the uh the item you get tapping here you will see the unit that you get and this is the part your team info here all right and this is the map here you can see the map here like this okay and the moves All right. Wait. Let him go, friends. Few bang. Okay. Okay. Here. Another guy here. Skip the story. All right. Okay. Down here, mm, this uh, oh, these these are so easy. Well, it's because this is a tutorial, still on the tutorial. All right, so now we can fish, right here. Break the vest first, and this is the fishing spot. We can fish. Every map has a fishing spot. Most of mostly like at least one and so okay blah 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 oh oh and the turn i'm gonna show you guys the chain damage okay so like i'm gonna use the chain damage change here so like when you see that when the end of the, at the end of the action the damage increased by like certain amount that's the, that's the chain damage 
that's the chain damage so the chain damage is really useful when you're fighting the uh, the uh, ray boss the the multi missions the multiplay you need to understand like uh understand the how the chain chain damage work because you will be playing you will be competing on the ranking system on the multiplay i'll show you guys here once i reach the once i clear the one five story story one five okay one more okay skip 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 the story okay now this is the town then there is the alchemy alchemist or, or the blacksmith here there is the market also i'll show you guys the town here so all right skip on the town here oh so like this is i will show you guys here this is the home here and this is the map this is the uh town this is the unit and this is the uh, shop that you need to buy if you want to buy gems this is where you want to buy it this is the salmon all right so let me go to the uh, uh, town first so here this is the blacksmith or they call it the alchemist Alchem alchemist house i don't know and this is the market so by here you can craft the stuff also like this you can craft the stuff you can uh, enhance your weapons or anything like that so here this is the there is a piggy bank here you have to donate gold like this to increase the level of your uh, your facility so as as the level go up there will be more and more and more um, thing you can craft so let me show you here okay so this is here is the uh, the the uh, weapons weapon factory. What do you call weapon factory? You no, know? you can craft the the weapons here, and these are all the types of the weapons here. Each unit has their unique type of weapons. Like, let me show you. I will I will craft one, and so you guys know that. So this is the oh I don't have any, really. I don't have any well okay okay I'll show you guys later in the unit this is the uh, uh, accessories you craft the accessory here right and this is the uh, weapon enhance this is the uh, uh, consumable consumable stuff like uh, half potions and stuff you need to craft these and this is the uh, weapons what do you call that like I don't know how to I don't know how to say that in English though um, so like uh, I always mean to like this like if you after you enhance one weapon right after you enhance one weapon you want to so like there is a, there will be like uh, slots um, dam, uh, uh, ability on the uh, on the uh, on the uh ability on the on the weapons so this d tab here is the oh yeah, yeah, yeah ability transfer like the bonus transfer or bonus transfer or ability transfer like the the one that you have if you want you to if you when you get the new new weapons and you want to transfer the ability that you have so this is where you're going to do it all right you move the ability to from one weapons to a different one and here this is a new feature when I start playing it, there is no, there is no this feature here. This is the uh, equipment awaken or, or equipment evolve. So you can evolve the, you can evolve the uh, weapons four star to five stars, kind of like that. Okay, so like this, right? Uh, hold on. So this is the market here. You can, you have, you can buy the materials and stuff. Also every facility has the piggy bank that you need to uh, you need to uh, level up the facility okay I will explain you all here so this is the market and this is the kitchen this is the kitchen you can cook every food has their own uh, bonus or boost 
and this is the uh, the uh, Salmoner's Guild. All right. So let me move to the story very quick. Okay. Here. All right. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, go. Okay, five, 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 five. Move, increase it again. Uh. Okay. Story, story. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Fight him. Okay, that's a treasure box. Skip, skip, skip. Open the treasure box here. So, there. Okay, the fishing spot. So, I, if you can, just move to every every uh, every map on the every field on the map. So you will find like a different stuff, like a treasure box or crafting material, fishing spot, mining spot, something like that. Okay. Okay, there is the mining spot there. You 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 really need the material. You you will need like a lot to craft the stuff. All right. Okay, go. Oh. Hey, the net book open then. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, blazing fast. Okay, blazing rush. See, like when my action, my action gadgets were empty. But like before, before my turn ends, like before my last, last character attack, I used the blazing gadget. A uh, blazing, uh, blazing rush. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. All right, right. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. Kiru do ni hoko shio. Oh, skip, 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 skip. Okay, now the the kitchen is open. We can craft this stuff. There is the missions. All right, go to the. Okay, craft. All right, here. Okay. Let me explain. This is the this is the uh, piggy bank here. Let me explain to you how the kitchen works. All right. So you need to first you need to increase the level. Ding. You need gold. You need a lot of gold to to uh, to increase the level. All right. Okay. So now here. So this is the uh, this is the food here. It, this is the material it needs, and it here it says the uh, the the effect, the boost. What kind of what kind of boost it gives you? Like attack increase by two percent. And fire damage increased by eight percent, kind of like those. This is each food had its own, um, its own effect or uh, and boost. All right, and uh, this is the fish. Hey, okay, hold on. Okay, so uh, these are 
these are the rice these are the noodle these are the meat meat and these are the fish and these are the uh, pot hot pot kind of like those and these are the sweet the desert dessert and these are just uh, extra stuff like pizza or something like those okay oh and let me show you guys the the unit what uh, equipment and stuff unit here so let me explain here to you so this is how to spell sells the unit let me start from here so here this is the unit list and sell okay this is unit list and sell this is the unit uh, team setup this is the uh, enhance this is evolve and this is the items the items that you craft the list of the items that you craft this is the item set the item set setup setting okay let me see so, so if you want to sell your units like oh hold on like this big uh, this this pig like right this that has the one has a shining stuff like this piggy these are the uh, these are the uh, enhanced material that give you more uh, more XP using those so if you want to sell the unit the uh, extra unit these are the extra units here so these pigs and these look the same but on the icon these are not shiny these are they, uh, these are not shiny in the on the icon and but these are here like these are but these yellow stuff they are not right and I'm gonna sell these here extra units uh, okay so here is the un unit uh, amount that you have you have I have eight and the max is 200 it used to be 100 it did increase it into 200 right okay um it's almost an hour I think I will end the video here for the part one and I will do the part two all right um, okay guys this is this uh, this is for now that's it that's it that's it for now I will do the part two um, thank you for watching guys if you guys want to try out this video of uh, this game I mean I'm sorry guys if you guys want to try it out this game check it out this is a uh, pretty cool I like I like I like this game I've been playing like uh, l lately I've been playing a lot because because of the huge update they made All right so that's it for now uh, I hope you guys like it if you guys like it please give it a like if you guys don't the uh, if you guys don't like it please give it a dislike like or dislike it, it helped me a lot because you know like I, I, I know I help what people likes and what people don't like so I can I can do some improvements on my next video all right and if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment um, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, thank you for watching and bye now